Welcome to the Prospector's Radio Show, the talk show for our community. Please welcome Rich Cooley, Indiana Gold Hunter Dennis Dayton, Kathleen Biffle, and your host, Tim Grimes. All right, everybody, welcome back to another edition of Prospector Radio, and Happy Easter, everybody. I'm your host, Tim Grimes, and joining me, as always, first off, we got the Wandering Buffalo, Shad and Kathleen Biffle. We got the Indiana Gold Hunter, Mr. Dennis Dayton. We got Rich Cooley, <laughs> and we got Mr. Goo NASCAR, Scott Swiftwater, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up the back of the field. <laughs> What's going Happy on? Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Good evening. Evening, evening, evening. What's going? Did you guys I all have a? Did eight. you all have a good, pleasant Easter? Oh yeah. It wasn't just like that. Uh, it's not Easter. It doesn't feel like it because, like you no, were saying, it doesn't you, feel like Easter. You can't have family over or nothing like no. that. And it's like. You go to church. Yeah, you feel like Easter. You're probably used to cooking like a big Easter meal, and it's like uh, I, didn't I still made food. my ham, but I did like uh, the the ham, green bean, and potatoes uh-huh. soup stew. Uh, okay, with some cornbread that I made from scratch See? in a skillet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of that. Country girls oh, always make oh. cornbread in a cast iron skillet. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. They do. That's the only way. You go down West Virginia or something, they don't... If you made cornbread in a pan, they have to hang you. You make it in a cast iron <laughs> skillet. That's it. Cornbread yep. is always... Good. Yeah, oh, always it's best the, the cornbread. It's the best. It gets that little crispiness around the edge yes. and stuff in there. Oh, Very it's, it's just perfect in a, in a cast iron crispy. skillet. I'm crispy. telling you. Yes, crispy. Very crispy. But yeah, it's like... <laughs> It's like us. She's, you know, she's used to having her daughters here and cooking for all them and stuff. And it was just like, that's eh, just you and me. But she still made a ham and potatoes and rolls and all well, that jazz. So we'll be eating ham the rest of the week, I presume. Yeah, pretty much. You can make so much stuff, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hot ham and cheese sandwiches. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I yeah. think deviled eggs, too. Oh, she did, too. I don't See, I don't like them. You know, oh. or pick, pickle, <laughs> pickled eggs either. I don't like them. I love deviled egg. <laughs> You're not American, Tim. Oh, yeah. I just don't like that that crap, you know? I love deviled oh, eggs. Wow. Now, I, I can't used... stand pickled eggs, but I love deviled eggs. Oh, no. I was going to say, deviled eggs ain't nothing like pickled. That's good. <laughs> I'm not a fan of pickled eggs. <laughs> I used to eat the pickled eggs when I used to was young pickled. and eat them with crackers when you were half you know, they're three sheets of Was that wind. back in the 1920s it, there? It was. <laughs> it was when you could buy them on the counter of any store you walked into. You stick your hand down in the jar and grab you one. <laughs> Throw your nickel on the counter and scurry on out the door <laughs> eating your egg. <laughs> that now you who oh, and gosh. you were in business. <laughs> I went on a good Easter egg hunt today. What'd you get? I found a bunch of Golden eggs. Golden eggs. Oh yeah. From from where? From the pit. The pit. The pit has golden eggs. Oh, that's what I called them today. They're golden eggs. <laughs> Had a pan full of them. Oh, <laughs> really? You post some pictures of these golden eggs for us. Yeah, right. I want to see a couple. Yeah. Let us see. I don't have pictures, but it'll be on video tonight. Okay. That's just as good. Just so we get to see them. You know? that come with a magnifying glass? <laughs> oh, you don't need a magnifying glass for these, Rich. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I found a little little sweet spot. It's like, because you know how fine the gold is at the pit, right? Right. Yep. Well, we hit, them, we hit them patches where it's like fine gold on steroids are like just peppery you know they're just and you know it was it, and it was even moist out today too you know right moist. right it's always good when it's moist yeah yeah mm-hmm. and and you found you a little honey hole did you oh yeah we got into another little sweet spot <laughs> a little sweet spot a little moist sweet spot Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Very good. So you got makes it easy, makes it easy for him to shovel. <laughs> yes, it does. 
Yes. Oh no, dry land, dry land nozzles. What I use? That's the only way to go. <laughs> oh, that's what you were doing. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was using. Then I came home and had the wife had ham cooked and some macaroni and cheese and some corn. Ooh, macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Oh man. yeah. Macaroni and cheese is always good. <laughs> oh yeah. And corn. Oh yeah. Dang. You didn't have green beans. No, no green beans. Oh, darn. I wouldn't have griped if we'd had them. I love green beans. So do I. That's what, I had some green beans, cheesy green beans. I like them with cheese. I can't can't help it. <laughs> well, might as well throw bacon on top then. Oh, yeah, crumbled bacon. Mm-hmm. I had bacon for breakfast, so I didn't want it with dinner, too. So just some cheesy green beans, you know? Oh, yeah. Ain't, ain't nothing like cheesy stuff. And that's what I said. Now with the ham, we can have ham and cheese sandwiches the rest of the week or god i don't know what else you do with ham though all i know is ham and cheese sandwiches you, <laughs> you can put them in scalloped ham. potatoes you can make ham yeah. sandwiches white beans and ham i mean come on dude all right kathleen what was you saying <laughs> I, I do potatoes like sliced potatoes Slice baked potato. with ham and cheese okay oh yeah <laughs> okay and scott's saying bean soup and beans with ham and well, yeah, no, I, I, you can do all ground potatoes with ham in it. You can do white beans and ham. Come on, that's Indiana's hometown thing. Right Bubba there. Gump ham, yeah. barbecue oh, ham. Bubba <laughs> Gump ham. <laughs> ham salad. Oh, yeah. Pinno <laughs> beans. Yeah, I'm going to stay away from that one. Oh, me too. No ham oh, salad. I love ham salad. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, ham salad's good. Yeah. Oh, really? You guys like that? Oh. Well, yeah. if you don't like deviled eggs, you're probably not going to like like egg salad nope, and ham don't. salad. Uh, nope, you're I right. I thought ham salad was made of bologna. It looks like it. Some of it can be. That's most, mostly called a sandwich spread where you take bologna and mayonnaise and whatever else you want in it. It's really good. With bologna, yeah. they make a spread? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Kid, they used to make it by the tubs, dude. I didn't know yeah. they used dang bologna. Are you, oh, and you, yeah. And you guys. Put it in that little grinder. Wait a minute. All right. And you guys. I put it in my food processor. And so then, you, uh, you're making you potted. You're making potted meat. Pretty much, but <laughs> Pretty it's not in a pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no slime around it. There ain't no slime on potted meat. It's made no. from ham or bologna. <laughs> <laughs> If potted meat's got an expiration date of 14 years, there's some kind of slime. <laughs> it's just got a good seal on that cake. It, yeah. <laughs> hey, our good. dogs liked it, so. And potted meat. See, Dennis, you like potted meat, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> potted meat, spam. Yep. Yep. Bingo and bingo. Yes. All day. I could eat that every day. One of the oh, two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spam or ham potted meat. Ham and rice meat. is good, too. What is? Make it. Ham and rice. Ham and rice. That would probably be good. It's yep. good. Fry the ham, though, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm in, then. Fry the ham and some rice. That would be good, because I like mm. rice. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. Maybe I'll have that this week, then, not just ham and cheese sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think of something else I could eat with a ham with. Yeah. You know what? We get those big Kaiser rolls, and we'd make ham and Swiss sandwiches like Subway, put lettuce, tomato that, on that it. That could be good. Striped mustard. Yeah, that could be good too, like that, like a, like a hoagie sandwich. Yeah. Or you exactly. get that Hawaiian King's Hawaiian bread. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Little ham sandwiches out of it. Oh, and them little rolls or something. Yeah. Yeah, but didn't they like start little mini like ham sliders? Yeah, like sliders. <laughs> What? Kathleen, didn't huh? they make? Didn't they make start start making like the whole the the Hawaiian rolls? Didn't they make like some big buns for hamburgers like that? For that, they may have. Yeah, I don't they know. they do. If you want to pay five dollars for eight of them, <clears throat> well, you know what else buns. is good with ham though? What's that? Whiskey. <laughs> 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 a little on top for caramelization. <laughs> Do you dip it in your whiskey shed, your ham? Well, yeah. Okay. i just curious. <laughs> ham with a little bit of Gentleman Jack. Dipped in there. <laughs> Yummy, right? Yummy. Jeez, you guys are strange. <laughs> you know what else is good with ham? What, gold prices? Gold prices, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you 
read my mind, hmm. shit. Oh, that's that's my job. But, I know. Uh, you know. <laughs> let's take a quick look. Um, gold, as of last close of business day, was up forty four dollars at sixteen ninety seven. But I saw today it was over seventeen hundred. So. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Are you serious? Are you serious? At one point, yeah. I don't know if it still is, but it was like 1702, 1704 going back and forth earlier today. Wow. I'm going I'm to have to look to say Yahoo. I'm just okay. saying here. Well, even at 1690, it gets a Yahoo. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Um, silver up 53 cents at $15.64. I'll even Yahoo that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh platinum's up eighteen dollars at seven hundred and fifty two. Okay. Nobody cares no. evidently. <laughs> <All right>. uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Palladium's down seven dollars at two thousand one hundred and seventy one. Mm-hmm. And of course rhodium. Well that one decided to just stay flat. It's at seventy two hundred dollars. Wow, I I'm still shocked at that one though. It's still a big big drop from thirteen five. Yeah, I got I got gold at sixteen eighty seven. Okay, well he said it was bouncing up and down. So yeah, I said that was earlier today, buddy. Mm-hmm. I didn't say live right now right. this exact <laughs> moment in international markets. <laughs> no, that's I don't cool. get paid well, enough to do that. Sixteen eighty is still woo in my opinion. You get gold <laughs> prices on the bottom of gold prospector space, so whenever they feel like refreshing right. their numbers. Right. <laughs> Right, and that's whoever I forget which one that is. Yeah, Monix Precious Metals. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Yep. So, which I've, is pretty cool. If you don't know, at the bottom of Gold Prospector Space homepage, uh, you can uh, go to current gold prices, and if you click on either of them, it'll open up a separate page and give you more detail. Cool. So, check yeah. it out. All right. And silver took a dip, though, didn't it? Well. It was down. It came up, didn't it? I thought fifty three cents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got it down as fourteen percent at fifteen twenty five. But hmm, I do know. I know. It's so what. funny because if it drops down two pennies, it looks like the biggest line drop chart in silver you ever seen in your life. Yeah, right. Because it's only worth fifteen dollars. <laughs> that line can't be very long. <laughs> well, they they say and con- constantly, silver is a volatile, precious metal on the markets. Uh huh. The littlest thing it flips out. It just freaks. I mean, thankfully, gold isn't like that. That'd be crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know what? There's like, still like a lot of silver mines. It's just been like nobody digs. They just not worth it. There's a lot of them out there. I. Just, it's funny. Well, I don't know what it's still worth it. I think maybe not commercially, but <clears throat> but it well, should. maybe that's is it. I mean, I don't know. I've never refined raw silver. Right. I'd be curious. It's got to be costly, and with Pro- those yeah, prices, probably, it's, it's right. only a byproduct of other mining. I'm yeah, sure. Probably. I'm thinking you're right. Yeah, probably, but I don't know. It's still cool though. You know, it's silver. I mean, silver and gold. <laughs> Well, they made they made coins out of it, so right. it's got to be worth something. Exactly. I mean, it was good enough for the United States Mint. It's like, come on, you know. I mean, geez, and it's good enough for all these infomercials to be pushing it. You know, buy silver now, buy silver now, buy silver yeah. now. <laughs> like, yeah, but they want you to buy the eagle coins and the stamp bars. Oh, jeez. Yeah, probably. But like, well, that's what I always see. You know, the ones that wanted you to buy the coins and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, they like to sell them because they, they sell for more money. You know. Oh, and they come with a certificate of authenticity. Yeah, they do. <laughs> In a cool little case. Yeah. Yes. In a cool case. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're paying for those extras. The cool yeah, case buy, and that certificate. By the case, we throw the coin in for free. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. You know, that certificate of authenticity too. Yeah. So, what about birthday shit? Yeah, there's birthdays. Got a few. Dennis, no, Dennis, there's birthdays. Dennis, you singing? Well, sure. Well, sing it up, man. <laughs> Are you ready, Dennis? Oh, yeah. All right, take it away. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. 
to you. Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Ten many more. From Channel 4. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Dennis. It is April 12th and Easter. And here are your birthdays. We have Andy, Gary, Tolsty, Gold Digger, Green Pan, Linda Vincent, Mer- what? Merlini, Merlin187, sorry, Ray <laughs> <laughs> Scrapfield, <laughs> Richard Siegel, Todd Douglas Smith. And then tomorrow, there's Gerald Birdsong Jr. Howard Ferris, Kyle Gums, Larry Soder, Mike Hutchinson, Mike Locke, Mike Locke, Rob Brown, <laughs> Roger Jones, Tim Arguello, and Wesley J. Rogers. All right, all right. All right. Happy birthday. <laughs> well, happy birthday to all of those fine people. Are you got one you want to highlight tonight? <laughs> I don't know. Which one stuck out to you? It was Green a- Pan. Which one, Scott? Oh, green pan. Green pan. All right, I'm in for green pan. <laughs> was there a green pan? <laughs> there was a green pan. Um, let's see. Join back uh, February seventeenth, twenty twelve. Okay. Um, he is from Bryan, Texas. What type of prospecting does green pan do? I'm a hope pan. He's a gold pan. <laughs> He does not belong to any clubs, and he found the site through Yahoo, Yahoo. and that is all there is about Green Pan. That's quite a bit of knowledge there about Green Pan. Yeah, Yeah, just just for that, I'm going to click on another one just for fun, and it's tomorrow's birthday, so we'll look at Mike Hutchinson Okay. um, from Gig Harbor, Washington. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, does all types of prospecting. Belongs to to several clubs, but does not list them. Found the site through a friend, and he uses a sluice, dry washer, spiral pans, dredges. Oh, so, he uses a variety. He, he's got a whole variety, and mm-hmm. he's been here since 2013. Well, happy birthday to them all. Pretty cool. I, like, I kind of like that. Happy birthday. Highlight the one birthday that's today and highlight the one birthday that's tomorrow. That might be a pretty cool idea, Shad. Yeah. That well, was... I just felt Green Pan let us down. He so kind of did. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good point. That's the one stuck out, though, is Green Pan. I'm like, oh, that's kind of obvious. Yeah, but yeah. Were... I mean, can you imagine? You, you know, you create a great screen name, mm-hmm. unique. Yep. <laughs> and so we pick it, and then you have nothing. You've invested zero time, <laughs> no energy, and actually making a nice profile right. about yourself. I have. I a, mean, you got to look at. I have a green pan. Buffaloes. Yeah, I have a green pan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully you do, because we all have a green pan. It's like, yep. You would expect more. I have a dredge, a sluice, a high banker. But again, I guess maybe we, that was where we went wrong. We expected more, and he's just green pan. Just you're right. a green pan. You're, you're you know, right. Texas is like, tech, that's Buku, well, rest his soul, Buku's country that way back in the day, that he said there wasn't a lot there, but what you could find was pretty much really, really small, and you had to pan it. Green pan it. Green yeah, pan. Green pan it. Yeah, green pan it, man. That's just it. I'm with Shad, though. It said green pan. I guess we should have just said, okay, he's got a green pan, and just rolled on with it. <clears throat> Good enough. You know? I don't know. Don't know. Now, Kathleen, did you get your <laughs> did you get your stone, Kathleen? I did. I did. She did. I did. I did. She got a rock. You're pretty. Okay. I was wondering. Thank you, John. I was thinking about it last night. I'm like, did Kathleen get her stone? I see Jaron said he posted some pictures of his, so yeah. So I figured hopefully you got hopefully I every pictures. What's that? I posted pictures on uh our official page on Facebook. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I wonder if that whoever won whoever won that pit dirt of mine, I wonder if they got it and if there's any gold in it or not. Who was that, Den that won that? That was uh that was uh Ruben? 
Ruben something. Ruben, Ruben F. F. Yeah, F. Ruben That's F. That's right. That's right. I haven't seen him since he won that. You know? I don't. Must have struck Charles Hansen thanked us for the uh, ounce of silver. Oh, cool. Awesome. Woo! Woo! That's right. So, John posted the gems on the site there. Right. I know. I seen that. That was pretty cool, right? See? Yeah. They're pretty big. I didn't think. Man, I, I didn't see those big ones. But yeah, anyway. they're, they're big ones. Yep. Yep. Even that even that one stone Kathleen got's a good size stone. You know, it's not little. <laughs> <laughs> They're big, big old stones. So why do they call it a moonstone? It surely don't look like a moon. Well, there's a story behind it. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, I did. you know what? That yeah, I'm with Rich. It is odd. Well, though that one I got was it looked like very, very. Um, it, it wasn't found in gravel like a creek. Because mm-hmm. it it still had the sharp edges to it, so it was really, really pretty. Right. But you can find the. Like the rounded pieces, there's a a beach actually uh, in Rhode Island mm-hmm. called Moonstone Beach. It's even Moonstone figure Beach. that. Yeah. No, wait a minute. Are these are there are they natural natural faceted? No, they're they're actually rocks. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that you find in uh, Rhode Island, they're you know they're a size of, of like a dime to a nickel, and they have really been tumbled, so they're sm- very smooth and shiny. Oh, okay. And, Diverse color. Well, moonstone is actually it's very symbolic. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like for new beginnings to have growth and strength. It can soothe stress. Okay, uh, makes you calm and it helps your intuition. Wow, so pretty cool. I need a, I need I need a necklace. You need a necklace. Yes. It's really pretty. I mean, um, the yeah, one that isn't polished, but it's still <laughs> pretty cool. Scott, I see you as a turquoise kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do too. Right, Chad? A big yeah, old, big old belt buckle yeah, with turquoise. Turquoise and a turquoise bandolero thingy, whatever them things are that they wear. Yeah, Scott, you need turquoise. <laughs> right. You know? And you can probably find it out there, can't you? Probably ain't it out in the desert there? Yeah, some well, well, you you could also find gold out there too. Scott. <laughs> True. By the way, did, <laughs> by the way, did Staten, I heard you. By the way, I just wanted what? to say I heard you. I just wanted to say that we bought a little Your piece necklace. of Arizona and um, put it in a like all these cactus. We <laughs> got some cactus. Did, 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 a, a flower yeah. cacti. You did what? Cacti. Well, our plan is. To take them, if try to make them survive until we move there. Yeah, but well, I'll tell you what, I'll take it up a collection, and I will sell you Arizona dirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are these are um, I, I forget what kind they are, but anyway, I have them all in a in a pan with uh, some quartz rocks that I actually collected from okay. different places, and then I I wanted to say, John, I put your moonstone in that. Um, arrangement that I make. I'll have to post a picture. Yeah, that'd be cool. I bought, it looks really cool. I bought two cactus last year. One died. One's still going. So uh, <laughs> it's like I don't know how to take care of it if I'm giving it too much water. Or... You can. I mean, you don't need to give it that much water. That's what I kept thinking. I'm like, it's used to living in the desert. Am I over? Well, just it? just spray it with some water whenever Scott says they're getting rain. If they're not getting any rain, just let it be. Okay. <laughs> All right, I, I will do that. When Scott's like, "It's gonna rain," I'll, after the show, I'll run out and spritz her down. <laughs> yeah, it's just All funny. right, that'll work. I want to keep it alive. I don't want to lose this one. I already lost one. It's like I like cactus; they're cool. They're actually no, they really don't. Beautiful. They stick you and it hurts. But they're they cool. Are worthless. They're no. They're neat. You don't ain't supposed to see, fiddle, and I like, can't help it too either. When like I'm at a when today we were looking at them at the in this greenhouse store, and I always have to touch them. You have Even to. I, know, I know. I like touch them. Like, well, oh, that's not bad. You have to. I can't help it. I've always done that as a kid. Well, yeah, you have to. It's just it's like it's a. It's this a, one don't look like it will hurt. <laughs> You have to touch it. It's like, hey, you just got to know. What's it feel like? 
Oh, that. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> pretty cool, though. That's funny. That is pretty neat. That's a good idea, putting the stones around it. You know? That is a, post a picture of it when you can, <laughs> Kathleen. I want to see it. Yeah. You okay. Know? I'll just take it right now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I want to see what it looks like with the stones. I bet you that's pretty neat. Scott, what are you giggling about? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> what did you Turquoise do? looks good. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he just sent something to the group page. I don't know what it was. Oh, Turquoise. Let me see what he did. <laughs> Turquoise grills. <laughs> That's a good one, Scott. I see why you were laughing. You made yourself <laughs> laugh with it. <laughs> well, I was kind of tickling me. <laughs> if it makes you your yourself laugh, then yeah, it's worth sharing. Well, you said you said something about turquoise. I'm like, you know what? There's one thing that sticks out in my mind, <laughs> that, <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> and that was it. That's right. Oh, I'm impressed. You were out of all the times you say you have trouble getting on the site, getting on Facebook, responding to our messages, and staying in touch. You somehow, in a span of just a few minutes, went back <laughs> into Facebook, found a post dating back from 2017, copied and sent and shared it to the group, our right. private group chat that we have on Facebook. Yeah. And yep, yep. and when I called tonight, Shed, he was the first one that answered. I don't even think it rang when he answered it. See, <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> I'm on a computer, man. I'm not on my phone. It was like, whoa, Scott was ready tonight. I mean, right there, blink. He said, Razor said, post it on GPS. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I can. I'm sure you can. <laughs> okay, I, I, I can. Look, look. <laughs> I gotta sit here and think about Put it, it in the chat room, probably. Well, all you have to do, Scott, is save the picture right mm-hmm. to your computer, and it then... doesn't it doesn't work like that because this picture's already been. Oh my gosh, you're retarded, aren't you, dude? <laughs> you could cut and paste all you want. You can't do it on this picture. I've tried it a thousand times. You can't right click and where all it right, says save can't. picture. All right, I will oh. bet you a gram of gold, Scott. <laughs> that I'll never see. You. And I'll do it right now. Save page at. Yeah, you can. I can't. No, 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 no. Everyone, you just heard Scott say you can. (laughs) That's what I heard. No, you probably can because I sent it out. I can't no, because no. I got, the picture's already been posted on my. I'm getting it from a post, man. I'm not. It's not like it's a picture got no, sent. No. To me. That's not what you said, man. Hey, freak. That's you not just what post you said. It. Go ahead, post it. Go ahead. Go ahead. It still don't All matter, right? does it? it, it any, do it. Even do if it. it's a post, if you right click it and just click save picture, and you know what I did that. It says save page, save page, save page. Uh-huh. Uh, select all, view message, view message, save page, and take a screenshot. So, yeah, it doesn't do that on the right click. I know what you guys are talking about, man. I do this all the time. Oh, it's wow. not working on this particular <laughs> post. That's so crazy. <laughs> Scott's the IT guy. There, I just posted what Scott was sharing so, to <laughs> make sure everybody is included in this. Yeah, so don't shoot the messenger. It wasn't shared. Where'd you post that at? <laughs> on... Gold Prospector Space. <laughs> you didn't post it in the chat room. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, jeez. Hang on. I'll, I'll Let me refresh. I'll, See, I'll I'm going to put it on put the Prospector Space, but I can only share he it put to it, the You put it in the chat room. Yeah. There it is. It's in it's the, on the chat room. page. This was from Scott. This was Scott's Facebook post. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> it's what he did back in the day. I don't know, you know. Uh. A couple years ago. <laughs> to all of our Navajo friends, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where to go, Scott? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if our Navajo friends can't laugh at that, they can't laugh at anything. Now, come on. <laughs> oh, it is just... And believe it or not, that was actually sent to me by Indians. <laughs> By an Indian. Okay. Well, that's cool. It's just turquoise. It's no, it's not Indian. It was. It was a couple. Oh, a couple. like a male and a female couple. Yeah, they said they thought it was funny. I'm like, oh, you guys got to quit. And then I was like, you know, I got to post this. Is is your name like your Indian name, Scott Swiftwater? Is that your Indian name? 
more or less. Yes. Is it? I figured it was. You know, swift water. That's that's yeah. That would be it. Mm-hmm. Would be okay. water. I'm I'm with you. Where am I getting the feedback from? Am I the only one that hears it? No, I can. I hear you. Great. I keep getting. I don't hear any feedback. I keep hearing it every so often. You know, like a echo. 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 Say echo. 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 Lego my echo. <laughs> Wait a minute. Scott, say, Not a gangster. say something, Scott. Have you heard of the bullshit on Tiger King crap going on right now? <laughs> what are you I just, I want to know how it's possible that one day Shad and Kathleen can say they watch this show and now all of a sudden it's on every YouTube channel, it's oh, yeah. on TV, it's on everywhere. They released that new thing today, too. Oh, did they? I haven't watched. Yes. Oh, they did that on Easter. Ooh. Yes, oh, today. Lord, <laughs> somebody help me. Yep, they released it today. But I think. I haven't watched but what it crap. what it is, Shad? I haven't watched it yet. I read a thing about it. It's just like they're talking to all the people that were involved and thinking. I heard it so stupid. <laughs> and thinking if you got a share a fair shake, you know, getting a twenty two years and stuff. I I seen a commercial and it's like if Jerry Springer held an episode on a crashing train. That's what it is. Pretty much, but you can't turn away. You couldn't if you was watching Jerry Springer and he did that. You'd be glued in, I, man. It's like, oh my Lord, it, you just I have just... to watch it. And then you'll see that it's like, you got to watch it. it. It's the same reason we <laughs> asked you to be on the show, Scott. Yeah, you just have to. <laughs> well, I am not promoting this crazy crap show. Well, watch it. <laughs> you don't have to promote it. Just watch it. It's doing. It's doing all the promoting it needs on its I own. I am not watching it. I just. I would be more dumber if I actually took the time. More to dumber. <laughs> I would be more now, dumber. Now you said it. We did. <laughs> How do you get more dumber? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> yep. Too late. He did it to himself. I'm just saying. Did it to yourself again. <laughs> you watch that, and it's time you can't get back. Way to go, stupid. Uh, I'm convinced we need a segment of just Scott Scott sayings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like word of the day, phrase yeah. of the day. I think that Scott one won saying it. saying of the day. I think that one just won it, Shad. I, yeah. I can't get no dumber. Is that what it was? <laughs> that is Scott's. I'm day. just saying, man. If you if you are really occupying your time watching that particular crap, Scott, you're just you know what? I, just I, go out and just dig dirt. And no, don't even look for nothing. Just, I know, just but dirt. It, until you watch it, you should. It's just it. it's it's despicable. It's just it's just humiliating. You it's have crazy. to watch it though, and then you no. then you could say, no. "Boy, this was." Dumbest thing I ever Dude, watched. It's idiotic. You see the guy with the tiger. All of a sudden, you're. You know what? The first thing I see is a giant mustache and a mullet. I'm like, well, that guy's an idiot already. <laughs> I mean, dude, everybody that you ever seen messing with animals with a mullet gets <laughs> eaten or killed. But he didn't. He didn't get eaten well, or killed. He, well, somebody got murdered. He's in jail. Well, he, he tried to have somebody he was killed. Plot. Yeah, he was, well, he was plotting on somebody. <laughs> I don't know. You still, If you watch it, you'll see. You know, that don't let the mullet and stuff fool you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Until you watch it, I'm not, not going to watch it. Dude. If you watch it, you'll be out buying all the all the you know <laughs> tiger. No, I'm not going to be and accessories. <laughs> There's got to be a reason why Scott doesn't want to watch this. I know. Is it, is it because I don't know? Do yeah. you do you relate to the the Tiger King? Right. I know you both wear like tight yeah. jeans, <laughs> probably because we don't have. Oh, any you're so funny. <laughs> You kind of if you, it's like any show that people say you know you really need to watch this it's really good even though it's 
dumb, it's good. You should watch it. It's, it's you know, just... open up your mind and watch it. You know, and you will you'll be like, it's a good. It, it's entertainment when you're quarantined. It's a good Let's documentary. <laughs> it's a documentary. And it's a good documentary. I just I think that was so funny. Tim goes, open up your mind. Open no, it's not a histo- History Channel. It's not a documentary about something. It will truth. be it's about some crazy <clears throat> guy. That- freaking wanted to be around tigers because he thought he was a tiger whisperer or something i don't know what he was <laughs> dude you're not you, when you're messing with tigers number one you're not you're not at the top of the food chain but see that's this what you're not seeing you. you're not yeah, seeing a big it, story it chewed off one of his or ate one of his employees arms didn't it, it? And yeah she never she never bigger. blinked when that happened i mean she just like my, my arm got eaten off yay <laughs> <Go back to work. laughs> bandage me up i'm going back to feeding some tigers <laughs> that is just bad <laughs> but that's what we're saying you, you gotta watch it <laughs> And yeah, I'm telling you what, I love gold. Everybody knows, man, when I dig gold, I'm a great, you know, I dig gold. I go for gold. But if somebody said, yeah, you could dig gold, but you got to watch out behind your back because there's tigers. I'm like, you know what? I'm out of here. That's no, no I'm not going to do it. There's more to it than just tigers. That's why I said you got to watch it. It's a big plot and thingy. You got to watch it. It's got a story behind it. You know? It seems to me it's like some hillbilly freaking made a tiger sanctuary cage out in the backyard, and no. there it is. Let's make a shit out of it. No, there's a lot more to it than that. You know, I mean, there, you know, that might have been how it was in the beginning. You know, <laughs> say this man ran to be president of the United States and then ran to be the governor and actually got 16 percent of the vote in Oklahoma right. for governor. So come on, it's like <laughs> think about this. Could you get 16 percent of the vote, Scott? Nope. Well, but Oklahoma is pretty widespread, so if you just made it to one town, you might get it. I'm just saying. It's like, you know, he had his own albums and everything else. I mean. It's just, no. no <laughs> you got to no. watch it. I'm not going to be happy until you watch it, you know? I'm just saying, folks, there's a reason why Scott acts kind of crazy and nuts. That's why, you know, people don't ask me smart questions. I am not going to delinquish my brain. Oh, no. Sure. No, you don't know. You you can delinquish your brain in far worse ways than watching that. That'd be like, yeah. let me stand there and say, Shad, hit me in the face with an egg. I mean, that's equivalent to what I'm thinking. Just give it a shot. Just just watch it for us. You know? No. Then we can have so you a... You want me to hit you in the face with an egg. Got it. Next time I see you, it's happening. Because you won't watch the Tiger King. No. Just, no. I mean, just think about it. Then you'll... Say it. Then if somebody mentions it to you, you can go, oh, yeah, I've seen that. That was really interesting. You know? That would be like me watching the Miss American pageant or some crazy crap like that. No. I, I guarantee it you do. I'd rather watch the Tiger King than, than a pageant. I'm sorry. You know? Why do I got to watch Miss American pageant? I can look at a magazine and see the same kind of chicks. Well, you can't look I, at a magazine sports, and I see. I can't Sports Illustrated and see that. Well, some you can't, you can't look at a magazine and see this kind of entertainment so you you yeah. gotta watch it it's entertaining it really is i just look over at my wife <laughs> <laughs> way to go smoothie I, I got hit, he's so a I keeper <laughs> i mean come on kathleen and she had watched it they liked it i watched, no, it. They watched it, it because they had nothing else better to do Dude. Oh no no no! It ain't nothing like that. It's just it's. Oh, no, they were sitting there one day like Tiger King. What's this? It's like and the, then, like you said, it's a train wreck. Like oh, I gotta keep watching it. Yeah, but it's no. like the number one rated show on Netflix. It's, it's like That's I gotta because, see what it's, it is. It's because it's, it's all over TV and all over the YouTube everywhere. Right, so you gotta you watch what? it. If you put Gold Prospector Space all over TV, all over uh, YouTube, and everywhere, you know what? We're gonna be. More popular than you could ever believe. Well, if I could be like Joe Rogan, if I could ever get you to start doing some stuff with Manny, maybe that would happen. Kick you and me. (laughs) It'd be like the Manny King. It'd be like. Are you gonna? Are you gonna make? Are you gonna make? When are you gonna make an announcement? What we're gonna do? As soon as we do it. No, that's not fair. Well, yes. It's top secret. It's top secret information. All right. <laughs> Need to know. Ancient Chinese secret. That's right. <laughs> as soon as we're ready, Scott, we'll, we'll, let, we'll, we'll say something. Well, I figured out something with Manny. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take his arms off because they do nothing. Okay. <laughs> so <And> I am... <laughs> 
I am going to, the shirt that he wears. I'm going to glue his hands onto the sleeves. That way, I can post his arms any way I want. Shut up, birds! Whatever you want. Bird. Just do you something. Just tell the birds to shut up. Yeah. yeah. I. <laughs> I say you and you and Manny could do it. We could do a video of you guys and make it just like the Tiger King, but it, it'd be like oh, the man, yes. the man that King. That's not even right. That'd be cool, because you got your your pistol on your side and your hat and stuff, and you sing. So we're halfway there. I sing. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. We'll man. write you a couple idea, songs yeah. and you can sing them to me. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> So watch it I'm, for us, Scott. Would I'm you? not. I'm not watching Tiger King. So uh, it's not no, just, I know it's Scott's happen. not because it's not a racing thing. You know, he's watching. It's like, of it's like you guys asking like Rich Kula to go watch ballet. It's not going to happen. Yeah, it's, it's, no, nope. it's not. A, it's not a video game race car. So right. <laughs> <clears throat> if we told you they had eye racing in it, would you watch it? It's impossible to have eye racing in the lane. Not necessarily. The Tiger King was one of the number one eye racing champions of his time. So you should. Well, yeah, they were racing tigers. Yep. He had a tiger on the side of his car. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, going to call shenanigans on this. If you watch it, you'll see. It's baloney. He raced but the hey, circuit. everybody out there in Radio Land, if you guys want to go check this Tiger King thing out, go ahead. Dennis, just, are you playing with your remote control toys again? I know, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, it's his grandkid or somebody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dennis, playing with the toys. He got, he's got a Buzz Lightyear. He got a Buzz Lightyear remote control car for Easter. Yeah. To Sweet. infinity and beyond. See? Sweet. That's a cool Easter present. Yeah. I thought for a minute, yeah, I'm with the white. I thought for a minute it was Scott playing with his eye race car. Yeah. <laughs> Mine sounds like a real motor going back. Right, 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 forward, backwards, like Austin. Have you ever seen, have you ever, did you, have you ever, did you guys watch FS at, or FS1 today at all? And watch what? Fox Sports 1. No. Man, they had Wednesday night. They, it was so cool because these guys... Because I racing, you know, we we've got a wide development of racing that goes on in I racing. So you have the dirt series, you got road courses, you got uh, often like the X Games things. They, there's all kinds of it on there. But what's really cool is because they have right now they're doing what they call the Wednesday night uh, run on racing, which is usually it's going to be dirt cars, it's going to be your sprint cars and your late models. That's go that's going to Usually it plays on like Mav TV and stuff like that, but Fox Sports One has pulled these guys in, and on Wednesday night they actually have like the real sprint car racers. They do the sprint cars, the real late model drivers. They do the late models on dirt, but it's still on i racing, just like they've been doing it on NASCAR on Sunday. And I mean, it's just it's 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 really cool. I think it's really cool, not just because I do it. I just think it's neat because of how how it looks it almost looks like a real race if you watch it all right so i mean it's you know it's what just, i wish they had what's that dan i wish they had remote control panning because i hate to pan <laughs> they do it's they, they got a video game called gold rush don't they <laughs> don't they get, do they got i no, i mean a real remote control that would pan for you well just make one just hit the switch and the pan will just sit there and rock in the water yeah that's right. Should be. Easy. Hey, that's a good idea. Someone out there come up with that. Should be easy. You know what? All you need, Dennis, was a. a, a I'd buy one. All you need was a high a vibrator. Just put the pan on top. If you do that, the gold's <laughs> <at> the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! Like I said, thinks that says. That's, no, you guys, you, you don't know those motors that vibrate your classifications and all that, the classifiers yeah. and all that? Yeah. Yeah, just put, put I, I thought about that, just having one of them things go and put your pan on top of it. After it shakes it down, it pan it out, it, the gold's at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, could work. Make one you don't have to. Well, you don't have to make it very big. You can make it like the size of a pillbox or something. You know, just, <laughs> yeah. You just need that Vita vibration moment motion uh, that's it yeah 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 
<laughs> I ain't, I, I ain't, I ain't I touching it. I, I just I decided I'm I'm not. I I'm not. <laughs> yep. We already have to mark this episode explicit. So. Well, I'm just saying. You can... <laughs> hey, you just... said for Scott to say something. So. <laughs> well, I mean, seriously, if you have a, if you have a vibrator motor and it's stuff like that, you have like a little dish you can put the pan on. It'll shake it right down. How did that go? It'll even do it when it's wet. I bet it would. Like <laughs> <laughs> the gold's at the bottom. Hey Scott, after the show, I'll tell you where you can buy it. I'll get those little vibrator things. No, no, I get those. <laughs> he said. <"Burr." laughs> yep, <Yeah. coughs> Scott's fault. It's all Scott's fault. As always. Hey, at least Scott was talking about prospecting. Yeah, he and was. Gold. He was. He thought of a way to do it. But the, he did. He did. I, I, giving him credit. Yeah, you know. No, I always thought about like the lazy man's way of panning. Can you imagine having like a little thing that stood out there, it wasn't no bigger than a, a cinder block, and it had a, a vibrator motor in it? You just put the pan on top. Wah, you know. <laughs> Two minutes, you're like, you're like, okay, just get to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, me too. I bet you could, Dennis Dayton. Just two minutes. <laughs> just two minutes. <laughs> get right to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that uh, that would have an option too. You can either have it automatically fill into a vial and dry itself, right. or if you push option B, it'll actually pop out into a little nugget for you. Right. No, I thought the, like the three state you could have it wet, moist, or dry. Oh, well, definitely got to be one of the three. <laughs> Usually works better when it's <laughs> wet or moist, though. You know. Well, I think wet's going to have the gold fall to the bottom a lot faster. Yeah. Uh, moist, you might have to add a little bit of water because you know, ten. You generally have to do that. Dry, it, it'd just be totally dust. My motto is the wetter the better. You know. So, yep. just live by your motto. That's it. Wetter the better. Get that right to the bottom. Not a problem. <laughs> I'm really at a loss for words right now. <laughs> Never. <laughs> well, that's because you're thinking, and usually you're not used to doing that. But anyway. Okay. Wow! <laughs> oh, that almost hurt. You know, I'd be offended if it wasn't you, Scott. Yeah, whatever, Shorty. <laughs> Uh, wow! Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, are we having Cooley's Corner or what? Yes, we are. Let's take a quick break and we'll come back with some Cooley's Corner right after this message. Do you like to mine for gold? Enjoy prospecting a nice crack in the bedrock? Enjoy getting outdoors to camp, fish, hunt, and hike on your public lands? You plan your trip, load the gear, grab the dog, put the family in the truck, and drive off to a locked gate. A sign says you cannot enter or access your own public lands. Mining claims and public land owned by we the people are being designated as off-limits by our own government every single day. Are you concerned about the direction our government is going? Are you tired of seeing no access, no entry signs on your lands? We are, and we are fighting back. We are AMRA, America Mining Rights Association, the fastest growing small mining advocacy association in America. AMRA is a 501c3 not-for-profit formed by miners, hunters, off-roaders, retired military men, and women to stop the insanity. AMRA was formed to educate, unite, and help the small miners and public land users on their rights. Rights given to us by God. Do you want access to great mining claims? For a small tax-deductible donation to their Miners Legal Fund, your family gains access to proven excellent mining claims across America for an entire year. AMRA challenges the USFS, BLM, EPA, and the other agencies intent upon stopping you from enjoying your own lands. You are who pays these people's wages. It is time they listen to us. We need to unite. And that is what AMRA is doing. As you sit here right now, thousands of acres of public lands are being closed, locked, and blocked from use by you. Are you fed up yet? Join us. Get in on this fight and let's restore America to what our families fought and died for. 
freedom. Just visit AmericanMiningRights.com. AmericanMiningRights.com. Also, check us out on Facebook at American Mining Rights Association. AmericanMiningRights.com. In 1858, gold was discovered in the rivers of New Caledonia. This discovery would spark a massive gold rush. Today, the search for gold is much easier, yet still challenging with Dirt Hog Pay Dirt. At Dirt Hog, we pride ourselves on our gold and guaranteed gold amounts. Just visit DirtHogPayDirt.com today and buy yourself a bag of the best pay dirt concentrates on the market. Order with confidence in Canada and North America. DirtHogPayDirt.com, the best gold concentrates on the market, period. Also, be sure to check out our Honest Bonus program. Welcome to Cooley's Corner. Join Rich Cooley as he talks about equipment, new products, and so much more for all us prospectors and treasure hunters. Here's Rich. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Cooley's Corner. Tonight, we're going to talk about gold in Idaho. Idaho. Idaho, Idaho, Idaho. Idaho. And we're not talking about taters either. (laughs) Idaho is a fantastic state to prospect for gold. Over two-thirds of the state is public land, much of it managed by the BLM and the Forest Service. These areas are generally open to mineral exploitation, and Idaho has a rich history. Gold has been found throughout the state. Uh, with rich discoveries found throughout dozens of mining districts. Many areas that have gold are far off the beaten path, so a prospector is willing to put in a little legwork has the chance of finding some very good places to mine. The Boise Basin, gold strike in 1862, was easily the largest discovery in the state, with millions of ounces of gold recovered from the region. The Boise Basin encompassed an area that included several mining towns, including Idaho City, Placerville, Pinerville, and Centerville. All of the streams in this area produced gold. With the extensive working done by hand placer and later by hydraulic mining and bucket line dredging. Within a few years of the first gold strike, the Boise Basin had a larger population than Portland, Oregon. This area is not known for producing large nuggets. It generally produces fines and small pickers sized pieces of gold. Although large nuggets are not common, large specimens of gold in quartz have been found weighing several pounds in size. To the southeast of Boise Basin in Elmore County were uh, several gold districts worthy of mentioning. Mm -hmm. Uh, shadowed by the beautiful Sawtooth Mountains, the small mining town of Atlanta produced significant amounts of gold in both placer and load deposits. There is still plenty of gold left to be found on this remote mining region. Atlanta is where we were close to when I went to Idaho. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Other notable areas in Elmore County include the areas near present-day Pine and Featherville. <laughs> Located near the headwaters of South Fork of the Boise River, all waters in this area produce gold and are worth prospecting. Silver City is a well-known mining town in Alway County, Idaho. Silver was found here on War Eagle Mountain in 1864, and thousands conveyed in the high desert valley. Although the vast majority of mineral recovered here were from hard rock deposits, there is plenty of gold in Jordan Creek and a few other seasonal streams. Uh, Florence is a remote mining district in central Idaho. Prospectors discovered uh, the area after <clears throat> nearby discoveries in Pierce. They attracted thousands of men to the area in search of gold. The high elevation and remote location makes for a shorter than average mining season due to the snow levels. 4,000 feet below Florence is the Salmon River, which also contains plenty of fine gold. And good access along the high. Uh, the Silver Valley, Valley Mining District is the northern panhandle region of Idaho. And it includes the mining town of Wallace. These regions are one of the most mineral rich areas of the state. Although by far the most important mineral is silver. Followed by lead and zinc. In fact, this is one of the top silver producings in the world. 
but nearly one billion ounces of silver produced. That's pretty good. Mm, yeah. Placer gold can be found in many of the nearby creeks and rivers in the area. Another place to visit nearby is Murray, a rich gold mining town north of Wallace that has produced its fair share of gold over the years. There are literally thousands of mines and prospects scattered across the state of Idaho. Almost any creek or river, uh, central Idaho, probably has some good gold in it. A few other notable areas that produce gold in Idaho include the mining towns of Warren, which was dredged extensively along the Warren Creek, south of Chalice in the small town of Bayhorse, which was primarily a silver producer. It is now owned by the state of Idaho and is open to visitors. The gold town of Yellow Jacket is deep in central Idaho wilderness. Very few people have visited this remote mining camp, but has flourished for many years primarily as a load gold producer. Leesburg is yet another old mining district that was rich in placer gold. It was west of the town of Salmon and takes some effort to get to it. Mm -hmm. The Yankee Fork Valley produced a lot of gold during its heyday. The ghost town of Custer is still well preserved. You can also visit the nearby Yankee Fort Dredge that churned up the valley in search of gold. Elk City was a major mining town for a short time. Placers can be found in the Red River, American River, and all throughout the South Fork of the Clearwater River. There's a good chance that uh, if you're on a creek in northern central Idaho, you'll be able to find some gold if you look hard enough. Even in the areas that haven't had significant mining activity, it's still relatively easy to find gold in many of the locations. It's also worth uh, mentioning that Idaho is a remote state in the lower 48. <clears throat> So be smart when venturing into backcountry. It's very possible to go days or weeks without seeing another person. Always carry appropriate supplies, with including, including tools, spare tires, food, water, first aid, and other safety gear. Uh, gold and silver mining in Atlanta, Idaho, dates back to 1863, when a team of prospector miners led by John Staley discovered gold along the Yuba River. Despite attempts to conceal this, this discovery, word got out a small gold rush to the area happened in August 1863 that failed to yield any significant discoveries. Some miners stayed in the area continued exploring the place of deposits around the area. In 1864, there was the second gold rush that was much more substantial than the first. Most of the mining activity extended from the Huber River downstream along the middle fork of the Boise River. Mm-hmm. Additional discoveries were soon made south at Rocky Bar and Bear Creek within the Feather River drainage. This was during the height of the activity taking place to the west in the Boise Basin. Thousands of men were exploring the rugged mountains in this area in search of gold deposits. Uh, the discovery of Atlanta Lode in 1864 established this area as rich in mineral wealth. To 1867, place where mining was primary mining methods along the Yuba and the Boise River. This was attributed to extreme remoteness of mining district and difficulties in bringing milling facilities to the district. The remote location of load was a challenge. Refractory ores and all installed production of golds. When stamping mills began in 1867, the production really began. Uh, 1868, investors from all around the world started flocking to Atlanta. First on the scene was the British investors. They were followed by Monarch, a company owned by investors from Indiana. It was primarily gold that was being mined out of Atlanta. Improvements to save silver for uh, both investors proved unsuccessful. Very little could be done, and a failure of stamp milling didn't help matters. The Atlanta Silver Refactory, to a point uh, where attempts to recover gold were uneconomical, as a result, the mill ground to a halt. By the end of 1869. Uh, <clears throat> basically, I'm not going to read this whole thing. This is just about stamp <laughs> mills. Right. Stamp mills is a large mechanical device used to crush ore and extract the desired metals from the host material. It uses the heavy steel stamps to crush and break apart material, releasing the valuable gold from the worthless rock, allowing for extraction of the gold for further refining. Mm hmm. The basic design of the stamp mill has been used for thousands of years, a variety of crushing applications. 
Its traditional use was a uh, bin for processing of material extraction, whether it's copper, silver, gold, or any other metal contained from the host rock. Stamp mills during the early gold rush days were generally powered by water, although sometimes stream engi steam engines were used as a power source. Their construction typically involves a series of heavy metal stamps arranged in a wooden frame called a stamp battery. system of rotating shafts and cam is used to raise and lower the stamps on top of the ore. Stamps are built heavy, made from steel or cast iron, heavy enough to pulverize the ore beneath. Stamps are repeatedly raised and dropped onto the ore that is fed into the mill until the coarse ore is produced to finer material capable of processing. So that's basically what a stamp <laughs> mill is. Now, you prospected in Idaho, Rich, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we wasn't far from Atlanta. That's rough country, ain't it? That was right down the road from us. It was it, but that's rough country, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it was washboard <laughs> road the whole way back. <laughs> you plan As you got off the hard road, it was washboard road the whole way back. You plan on going back there someday? Never know. Never know. Never know. Never know. You never know. That's cool. But you enjoyed it down there, you know, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We had a blast. Mm -hmm. See, pretty. Yeah, cool. we had a blast. And it's a, he said there's a lot of gold down there, from what the, what oh, I hear. Oh yeah, I'm read. sure there's still a lot of gold oh, there. Oh, I can only imagine. You know what what's down there. You know, she's crazy, but Idaho, man, amazing. Now Dennis, that's yeah, big country. I'll tell you. Yeah, Dennis, where are you at tonight? Looking for lost treasures? Is it in Idaho too? We are in Idaho. Oh, oh! So this is an Idaho kind of night, <laughs> man. Well, Rich, thank you, brother. Good job, Idaho. Big gold, big lots of gold. Yeah, pretty cool. So I guess we'll kick it over to Big Dennis Dayton for some lost treasures tonight. Dennis is in Idaho. Yes, Bobby. <laughs> Same place Rich was at, Idaho, talking about some lost treasures in Idaho. So, without further ado, Mr. Dennis Dayton. <laughs> All right, everybody. I figure we'll just stay on pace with Rich and keep it in Idaho. Idaho. Yep. And I'm, I'm sure I've went over some of these before, but... It just kind of makes it cool. I just try to follow Rich. Whatever state he goes to, I'm going to try to do the segment on the same thing. Uh huh. That's a good idea. You know what? So, real good idea. Um, we are going to start off in Idaho on Camas Creek. Okay. And what happened there was uh, three bandits were involved in a holdup of a Jefferson County station. Mm -hmm. While two of the three were killed in the ensuing scuffle, the third escaped with the loot. The man was eventually caught and thrown into prison, where in 1909, Chad, he drew a map for a fellow inmate who was to be released. Under claims of, quote, digging and irrigation uh, canal, unquote, the man turned up nearly every stone in the county, but the fifty thousand dollars was never found. Ooh. Fifty thousand back in nineteen oh nine. That's uh, one point four million dollars in today's money. Mercy. Woo hoo! Wow. Man. Okay, in uh, <coughs> McCammon, it says perhaps the most hunted. For treasures in Idaho history, the story of the Portneuf Gold dates back to 1865, well before Idaho was a state or territory, and when lawlessness was rampant. But the biggest criminal at the time was also Ada County's first sheriff, Big Dave <laughs> Updike. <laughs> Gangster-like and sworn in under rigged uh, circumstances, Updike's activities are well-studied, especially his robbery 
of the supposedly the gold bars, uh, or I'm sorry, of the Portnet stage. Hmm. I missed that part there, yep. <laughs> Especially his robbery of the Portnut stage. There we go. Okay. Supposedly, the go bars were on their way to Salt Lake City, a haul that was worth around $80,000 back then. Chad, did you get the date on that one? I did not. I missed the date on that one. 1865. 1865. 1865. Yep, a haul that was worth eighty thousand dollars back then. Today, that gold could be worth as much as <laughs> one point two six million dollars. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Updike's uh, accomplices were hanged for various other crimes in the Northwest, but Updike was sought after by the local Payette vigilantes. When found. <laughs> The gold was nowhere to be found, and presumably the criminal had become the victim of his own robbery. The loot is thought to be buried in the area, and no shortage of Idahoans can be seen on any given day searching in vain for this lost hall. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now, now we're going to move over to Priest Lake. Priest uh, in 1888, Chad, after great success panning in Bonner County, a local prospector was on his way to cash in his gold when his mules died after eating poisoned weeds. Unable to carry the haul on his own, he buried the majority of the gold a few miles from the lake along with the remains of his mules and finished his journey. However, when he returned to recover his hidden catch, he could never find the exact location again. Of course. And it has no amount, Chad, so you can just make up a number if you make want up. to. <laughs> okay, One I'll call it. billion I'll call dollars. It. And was I'll this the ancestor <laughs> of Scott Swiftwater Tony, by the way, that would forget, <laughs> forget where he buried it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling baloney on that story. I, I'm with you, Scott. Yeah. You know what? I forgot where I buried I, it. I am calling baloney on that story. I'm with okay. you. Okay. Baloney. Mule, mules do not eat poisonous plants. They've been grown to know what they eat. They, they're they not going to do It's like a cow eating a poison. They don't do that, dude. <laughs> They've been grown. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> donkey drowned itself. <laughs> they ain't stupid. They're not going to eat poisonous plants. There's There's the hole in that story right there. <laughs> I think well, the girl my mom's didn't... pet donkey when she was little uh, walked out into the pond and drowned himself. Shows are not a very smart animal. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. So they might eat something they're not supposed to eat. Hmm. 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 Well, we're going to move on to Kasaya County. Okay. The feud between Idaho sheep herders and cattlemen called the Range Wars or Sheep Wars in the late Chad, 1800s represent a violent turning point in Idaho history that accumulated in murder near Deep Creek. Local legends abound with stories of hidden stashes, which individuals would bury in an attempt to protect their valuables from any onslaught from a rival. Most of these catches are said to be hidden near Deep Creek, with one treasure in particular being valued at over twenty thousand dollars. Right. That was back in the eighteen hundreds. Well, you said late eighteen hundreds, right? Yeah. Yeah, the late eighteen hundreds. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I'll say eighteen ninety. That's worth about five hundred sixty-seven thousand dollars today. Now, my question is: Okay, so you had a bunch of criminals. The 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 sheep wars, as you said. Um, and right. so all these people hid their caches in the same area, but then nobody could find it afterwards. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm a little confused on that one. It must be a Mecca. <laughs> Was this a whole community of Swiftwaters? <laughs> oh, <thank> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> hey. I take directions as the crow flies and from Bob's Rock. Trust me, if I put something somewhere, I know where it's. 
All right. Try at again. Robbers, right. At Robbers Gulch, okay, uh-huh. not too far from Whitebird, just along the Salmon River, is a place known locally as Robbers Gulch. Mm-hmm. More than a century ago, outlaws held up a stage carrying close to $75,000 in miners' gold and hid it there among the rocks to ease their passage of the seven devils. Unfortunately, a law-keeping posse caught up with them, and the band of thieves were killed before the catch's whereabouts were revealed. Interesting. So, $75,000 a century ago, Shad. Beep, boop, 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 beep. A century. (laughs) Yeah, all right, so 100 years ago, 1920s, that's $967,000. Wow. Mercy. Just a, just a shy of a million. <laughs> One million dollars. Okay. In Rogerson, in 1888, an outlaw acting alone robbed the Jarbridge, Idaho stage near the site of the present-day Salmon Dam. The man was later found dead. However... With the gold nowhere to be found, a bloody fingerprint and a single bullet wound to the head eventually led authorities to the man who had taken justice into his own hands. But the search for the stolen loot was never brought to a conclusion. Local legend has it that the outlaw buried the strong box of gold somewhere on the east side of Brown's Bench, a large flat mesa about 15 miles west of Rogerson, Idaho. Huh. Okay. Did you say a fingerprint and a, a bullet fi- to the head? No, a, fing- a, fing- a fingerprint, he said. That's what I said. You said fingerprint. <laughs> I heard plants. <laughs> You're off tonight, Scott. I said <laughs> plant. <laughs> and the last one that I have is in Grangerville. Uh, if you ask anyone, there is not much doubt that pros- that prospector turned tavern owner David Levy had a catch stored in a metal strong box. First hand accounts describe that when workmen were putting a walkway in in near his house in Boise, he had them lift a section of it so he could retrie- uh, retrieve a pot of gold. Mm-hmm. He had hidden underneath when the levy uh, when levy was murdered in 1902. No gold or other money was found in his estate. 1902. Hmm. Townsfolk speculated that levy had moved his catch back out of his old cabin outside of Grangerville, but the loot was never found. Never found. And. and? That's it. That's it. And that is Lost Treasures in Idaho. Next week, I have no idea where we're going. I'm waiting on Rich. But until then, we have some weird rules by Chad Biffle. (laughs) Take it away, Chad. (laughs) It's... All right, now I will. I have to wait for that music. <laughs> Chad needs music. Chad does need music. It's so happy. Something mysterious or something. something well, Dennis may not know where he's going for Lost Treasures ne- next week, but I can tell you what is still going on in Idaho today that you need to be aware of. All right. Just so you know, it is against the law to live in a dog kennel or dog house unless you're a dog. Well, <laughs> no kidding. I don't know why? I mean, Wouldn't they call that a tiny house? Nowadays they would, yeah. <laughs> Unless the dog's meant to live in there. Then. But hey, if if you're over the age of eighty-eight, Tim, um, it is illegal to ride a motorcycle <laughs> in Idaho Falls. <laughs> Dang oh, it! Man. I was planning on going oh, for a ride down there. Come up my nose. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Swiftwater, pay attention to this one because I can see you enjoying to go to on those uh, riding merry-go-rounds at the parks. Uh, you're not allowed to do it on a Sunday. <laughs> well, that's just – it's at a park. I'll do it whenever I can get to the park. Not on Sunday. Yes, I will. You'll get a ticket. Oh, I guarantee you will. <laughs> Well, the next time you take a stop off in uh, Tamarack, Idaho, just know it's illegal to buy onions after dark without a permit. Now, that's just stupid. (laughs) (laughs) What, is there a big black market for the onion market? I mean, seriously. I don't know, but evidently um, it's also you're not allowed to sell chickens after sundown without (laughs) the permission from the sheriff. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I could see the onions, but not the chickens. So does that mean, is that live chickens, or if you're going to like, go KFC or Popeye's or something? Oh, well, well, with the onions, you couldn't see if they are rotted or not in the dark. They could be selling you bad onions. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, see, but the chickens, if it's clucking, it's eatable. You know, just saying. All right. Well, um, did you know hunting with a remote using the internet is punishable by law? What? <laughs> remote using the internet? What do you? Yeah, yeah remote. Be using a remote awesome. with the internet to hunt. How would you do that? Oh, that's that's right up Scott Swiftwater's. <laughs> yeah, he drives to the wood in his i race car. <laughs> very funny. Very funny. Hey, and just remember this, if you're in Idaho and hunting, you know, regardless if you are airborne or not, it is illegal to hunt from a helicopter. Okay. That should be illegal everywhere. Yeah, it should be. I'm still lost on the remote and internet one. It makes Well, they can do it in Texas. <laughs> huh? In Texas? They can do it in Texas. Yeah. Yep. This they hunt a hog from a helicopter all the time. Yep. But this is Idaho. No bueno. In you know, Idaho. though, right. when you hear we, the we, state we, of Idaho. We've already had discussions about it. Scott. <laughs> Scott, what, when you hear the state of Idaho, what do you normally think of? What is related? Potatoes. potatoes, right. Right. So, yeah. did you, and you know, potato, Idaho potatoes, they're, they're kind of a big deal. Yeah. So, selling an Idaho deluxe potato <laughs> With rot, blemishes, or even sun damage can get you sent to jail for up to six months. Wow. Really? Is that like a quality control? <laughs> I don't know. I guess the severe quality control. I guess. All Man, right. You guys, you guys remember when I was up in Idaho, Idaho at, the, at the restaurant where we were doing the working at? Okay, Anita told her, I was like, oh, these are Idaho. She goes, no, we don't get Idaho potatoes. I'm like, what? They're in Idaho. And she says, no, you you can't get – it's hard to get Idaho potatoes in Idaho. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Number one export, not available. I was going to say, maybe, maybe everybody – like Shed says, maybe everybody else pays more. I don't know. I don't know. It just don't make sense. They're, praying, they're in every field in Idaho, so – you should I mean, it's just like lobster for Maine. Right. You can get lobster in Maine. Why well, maybe all the that? Idaho potato farms are now controlled by giant corporations Idaho. who don't make it available to sell in their own state over fear that normal citizens will take that Idaho deluxe potato and plant it for themselves in the earth and be able to enjoy and sell their own Idaho deluxe potato. Not, a lot of it's got to do with commercial stuff. Yeah, I, I, you're probably right. Just saying. Mark. <clears throat> That's right. Anyway, just go to another state and buy the potatoes and do it anyway. I mean, what's the difference? I know. <laughs> Don't give logic behind weird laws. <laughs> exactly. They're weird. Okay. They're weird. They're weird. But hey, the next time you're in Pocatello, I'll have to remember this one. You are required by law to smile. <laughs> I'll remember that. You know what? What about what about smolder? Can you smolder? <laughs> <laughs> That'll have to be a new law. Now, um, also in Idaho, public displays of affection are limited to under eighteen minutes. Really? Holy okay. cow! 
Under 18 minutes? Under 18 minutes? It sounds like public displays of affection are perfectly legal. Now, what does that mean exactly? I wish to know. Me too. Well, that's just funny. Publicly displays of affection, 18 minutes. You're giving me like six extra minutes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, in Eagle, Idaho, it is illegal to sweep dirt from one's house into the street. Well, that's 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 legal. Uh, Come on. (laughs) He's not. We don't. How many people? How many people's houses are right close to the street? Come on. I doubt. Hey, um, also, I know fishing's obviously a big deal out there in Idaho, along with hunting and gold mining and potatoes. Uh, So the next time you're there, uh, just know you're not allowed to fish off the back of a camel. Uh, See. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Another one of them. Lots of camels out in Idaho. Now, though, you know, speaking of of that, though, there there are other animals that you are also not allowed to fish off the back of, and that includes giraffes. (laughs) However, evidently, those are the only two mammals that you're not allowed to fish off of, so game on for any other fish. There had to be. There had to be a circus in town at one time. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah. Well, um, there and believe it or not, in Idaho, there is a section within their state law that's referred to as the mayhem section. Mm-hmm. Cannibalism is also illegal unless it's necessary to survive. Oh, boy. Really? Other, so if it's necessary to survive, you it's okay. Yep. Okay. Right. Well, Bob, it's snowing. It's really Idaho. deep, and yep, you gotta die. This is in Idaho, too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, now bicycles are not allowed on tennis courts. Okay. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you know it's also illegal to lead an animal on a sidewalk? Mm. Didn't know that. Mm. So you can't leave your dog or, or a cat on the sidewalk. Yeah, I think when it was written, it was referring basically more when horses, obviously, oh, when they okay. first had sidewalks. Yeah, but they had just that animal. <laughs> now, okay, a law passed in 1912 provided that the carrying of concealed weapons is forbidden unless some are exhibited to public view. Okay. Open carry. What's that? Pretty much. Oh, yeah, right. Open Pretty carry. much. It's not concealed then. It's open. But do you do you have to just have it out all the time, or just whip it out if somebody asks you? May it well. Uh, I think it's open carry. It's that's not. I don't know. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be open carry. Hey, Swiftwater. Remember this one: persons may not camp out on sidewalks <laughs> in the city. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, where's, where's that at? <laughs> Idaho. Idaho. <laughs> I guess it depends on where you're at in Idaho. <laughs> now, um, snakes have been banned from biting humans on a Sunday, except when it's sh- snowing. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's... Wait a minute. What? What? <laughs> I don't know. Run that by me one more time. Run that by me one more time, would you? Uh, uh, Snakes, the snakes themselves, have been banned from biting humans on a Sunday unless it's snowing. Unless it's snowing. Unless it's snowing. So how many snakes are out when it's snowing? Right. Right. Hmm. Unless it's snowing. So snakes, if you're listening tonight, make sure you bite them Monday through Saturday unless it's snowing. Then go all at it on Sunday. Yeah. (laughs) That's hilarious. That is just that guy's not that guy is not in office anymore. There's no way. No, right, right. No, 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 right. All right. Now, I want you to listen very carefully to this next one. Okay. And I don't think any of us are lawyers, but lawyers must not charge widows a fee for moving their piano from one room to another. <laughs> Why is the lawyer moving the piano? I don't know. (laughs) Now, wait. Say that again. (laughs) It is a 
criminal. Oh wait, lawyers must not charge widows a fee for moving their piano from one room to another. Okay, now I understand it. You you understand that? Yeah, because back in the day when a widow passed away, there was a lawyer that come in. It was kind of an overseer of the estate because back in the day, women weren't allowed to have so much property money, da 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 So they had to have a lawyer for the estate. So if they had to move a piano from one room to the other, it was the lawyer's problem to get that moved because she is a widower of the estate, which he is an, uh, an employee of. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Ish. But. Ish. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. No, you gotta think. You gotta think back in the days. You know, when the, when there was a widower, if there was a lot of money involved and stuff like that, they had to have a male overseer because they didn't want women to own a lot of land, a lot of money. More or less, they didn't want women to have a lot of power. It's pretty much cut basic. But a widow can be a man or a woman. No, just a saying. widower is a man. A widow yeah. is a woman. It's Figure all it the same. No, it's not. Why is he moving her piano is my question. <laughs> it, it's only so they don't get taken advantage of. Well, it's not only that, because she didn't have a man to she do it. She can't move it herself. He's yeah, the, exactly. Yeah, he's the overseer of the state under her name. So he can't so, charge her, though. Exactly. Oh. Okay. It's, um, All right, so last law here. Scott, you can talk about this one, too. Um, this one is in, I don't. I, I always mess up on the pronunciation of this town. Is it Cordialine? Or Alan? Huh? <laughs> D-O-E-U-R space D space A-L-E-N-E. I think you were right, Cordy Lane. Yeah. I, I think so. We, we actually, I know, have somebody that lives out there that listens. Um, if a police officer approaches a vehicle and suspects that the occupants inside are engaging in sex, he must either honk or flash his lights, then wait for three minutes before approaching the car. <laughs> I can believe I can believe that. <laughs> You've okay. seen him YouTube videos standing walking up like that. Oh, Basically, around. they give you a warning. Yeah, put your clothes <laughs> a on. A flash warning. Yeah, but, but those are your strange, weird, stupid, crazy laws. Thanks, in the buddy. great state Weird, of Idaho. Stupid that is laws. I, crazy. They are crazy. Yeah. Just remember in Idaho, if you're having sex in a car, you got three minutes before you get a ticket. That's right. I thought it was 18 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was 18. <laughs> we'll see that's where you need to classify yeah. what classifies public displays of affection right. kissing, hugging, touching, right. petting right yeah right what, it, it needs to be more specific what in 18 mean? minutes then I mean that's a long time unless I guess you're a right. kid or a teenager or something <laughs> but um, I think a lot of other things to do <laughs> Yeah, eighteen minutes. That's that's a marathon. Yeah, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Time to cuddle. <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the weird laws, lost treasures, and coolies' corner tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I enjoyed them. I hope everybody else did. I, I, is anybody in the chat room? Rich, you in the chat room? I am, and it hasn't yeah. moved. Is yours working? Mine's not working. I can't. Let me can't, refresh my page. I can't see who's in the chat room. Uh, or well, nothing. The last one, I, last one I got on there is Why Gold, LOL, Razor. Uh, yeah. I just typed hello, and it didn't work either. See? No, okay, so it's not just me. It's just, and I can't. I typed and it worked. Not work. I not can't much. see who's in there. It just says members online. It's not showing any of them. I see 33 people, but... Uh, yeah, I can't type in it. Though. Yeah, I can't type in it. I can't see who's Must in it. Must be those old computers, folks. I've tried refreshing. And now for our one ounce gold giveaway, if you're in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a name. It's Chad and Kathleen Biffle. <laughs> but Thanks, I, Dennis. But we can't see them, so, oh, darn. No, you have to type in, I'm things. here in the chat room. <laughs> now, the last thing I see in the chat room before it all, like, stopped was back at 8.20 p.m. 
it was Razor saying, remember, folks, that if you enjoy Gold Prospector Space, hit the donate button if you can swing it. After that, nothing works. Oh, see, I so, got, yeah. a, I got a little further. Please donate. We need the money. I got a little further than that. I got down to Randy Lewis saying that I was wrong about the donkey thing. Uh, and that. <laughs> And David Vila saying that growed idiots there. Uh, I, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't understand. I'm still right uh, up to date. I'm still on it. Dude, I ain't got nothing. And I've ref- I'm the same. It's all froze. At I ref- for me. I refreshed. I restarted the computer. Everything. And big blank. Maybe I need to clear my cookies. Oh, clear the old cash. And I was going to say, hey, Toledo Jess, I still see you, Swifty. He's, he's right there. Yeah, white gold. Hey, R.C. Scott. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm on. I'm not. Well, at least one of us is. <laughs> one out of five ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Cal- like a lottery ticket. Kathleen, those pictures are pretty cool. Mine's still ain't working. I hit check. I, I wrote check, and I don't see nothing. No, I got nothing too, Rich. Big blank. I've already reset. I did it. It says all. 859 down in the chat room, but I don't see nothing nope, that I typed. Me neither. Actually, it must be Microsoft slowing your feed down, so you have to buy a new computer. No, it's... I don't, I don't. <laughs> nope, not going to happen. <laughs> Wow, I, I just cleared my cookies, and now I don't even see anything. I'm going to check on my other computer, Shad, real quick and see if it's working. It ain't broke. I ain't fixing it. Wait a minute, Shad. Ain't you supposed to be the, like, the computer guru? What's up, dude? Hey, this ain't me. This is the server right. of a Gold Prospector space being run off of that some of us are right. hitting. Let me see something. If it's working on this one. I'm have to. I'm, I'm, uh, if you go computer, to the old prospector either. space, I'm on the chat room. When you go to the space, and I get rid of the space, and it leaves the chat room. Darn That's man. pretty weird. That usually Scott can't even get right. on, and all of us can. <laughs> <Right. We work. laughs> It's that's a, scary. Now we're at the mercy of Scott seeing things. Yeah, so everybody that's probably teasing Scott, we can't see. Uh, Scott's right. deleted. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, I because I, it's not working on either one of my computers. So, yeah, we're up the creek without a paddle. Is, must be that there. East Coast thing. Must be. Could be. I'm going to check the, my mobile and see if it works. You know? That's I'm not cool. seeing any people online over up to the side. Oh, I'm seeing that. I, but I'm not uh, seeing. I'm, I'm not, I've only seen members on line 33. But right. I that's all no, I see. That's no what name. I see, too, Rich. Same thing. I just see the number. I don't see who yeah. is there. You know? I did before what? when I refreshed. Now I refreshed. I ain't got nothing. Nope, me neither. Honey. Nope, me. Ah, dang it. Ah. Somebody's partying. What's that, Rick? Scott? No, oh. it, ain't, it ain't working on my phone either. So. There's no, a, I was yelling to Lisa. Somebody's partying. Somebody's got the music banging like two houses down. So. There's an, there's John Hunt says it's saying that the plug in is blocked on his. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the heck that means either. You know? But no, I just mine was working in the beginning. Yeah. You know? Old old Jess just said, Hey Scott, are you in control? I said for now. <laughs> oh god. That's scary. That works in Spreaker. Let me see. I thought mine did too. I can type in Spreaker, but it surely don't work yep. in the room. Yeah, mine works in Spreaker, but my chat's not working on GPS at all. So I'm just gonna send them a Oh well. Yeah, send them a thing as always. Idiot. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do nothing with it right now. So. Oh, jeez, Louise. <laughs> well, folks, we almost wait. We got to 33, not to 45. Almost, but not quite from a long stretch. You're getting that Amra mega giveaway. Yes. Man, I'm telling you guys, Wednesday nights, we got to have 40 people. On Sunday, we have to have 45. If we don't have that in the chat room, folks, the giveaway is not going to happen. So let's make it happen. Share. Get it out there and get people, get your friends, get everybody on there to have a chance for that giveaway because it's going to be big. I guess nobody wants that big, big giveaway. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good because we've been adding on to it. <laughs> the big giveaway. Big, big, Mega. big, 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 Mega big giveaway. Way, 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 way. I don't know. We'll give away one of these days, I reckon. Right? Yeah, you know, it's reckon, gonna be like a tornado, man. It'll blow I reckon, you off your Chad, I reckon one of these days, we'll we'll gr- we'll grow those numbers in the chat room and we'll give it away. Yeah, please. Uh, 
day. <laughs> I guess somebody's working on that vibrating thing, you know, to separate the gold from the gold pan. Yeah, it, it, that's uh, that's Dennis. He got a message, and he always can hear it. Yeah. Oh well. And well, on that note, don't forget Tuesday night. 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday night hangouts with Ed, Jess, and Dano. I think this week their guest is Kevin Hoagland. Is that right? Oh, the Hoag! I think so. I think that's this week. You know, I think that's what Razor was saying Wednesday, that Hoagland's their guest this week. So I don't have a clue. can't see in the chat room. So I believe that's who it is, so be sure and check it out. Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, over there on their YouTube channel, Tuesday Night Hangouts. Now there was something else that I was going to mention. I can't remember. Oh, John says he sees 32 people in the chat room, and that is it. Nothing else. Yeah, that's what we got. So That's right. Probably more I'm, down, than, I'm more, down to 28 where I'm at. That's so. right. More than us in this boat. You know? I don't know. I'll send them a message as quick as we get done. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's Easter. <laughs> that could be it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe. And from Swiftwater Tony, happy Easter and good night, gold diggers. <laughs> well, good night, hey. Scott. Are we done? <laughs> I just want to get that in for somebody spike me. Oh, really? Well, maybe that was too early, though. You know? I know, Scott. We still have an hour left. Jeez. <laughs> really professional. Well, I know you could fill that void. So. Scott, Scott <laughs> trying to end the show before we're even ready. I mean, geez. no, I just want to say that before anybody else did. Why don't you say yeah, a little premature, or a little buddy? Say good morning before everybody else does too. Yeah. Well, good morning. Well, you mean good night, gold diggers. <laughs> I don't know why you think everybody wants to say good night, gold diggers. Good night, gold diggers. <laughs> and on that note i guess we'll say good night everybody (laughs) say it carefully (laughs) good night gold diggers there it is (laughs) yeah we're out of here good night gold diggers diggers. have a great have a great week we'll see you all wednesday we're out of here Bye, y'all. <laughs> Be sure to tune in next Sunday at 730 for another great show. For updates and more info, please go to www.prospectorsradio.com. Gold digger, Scott. Swift water. Scott got burned Scott again. Uh, Shibby. <laughs> I didn't get burned. I got it in there first. I don't give a shit.